Okay, so for today we're going to talk a little bit about driving, how to hit better tee shots. The question I get asked lots, lots of you guys on YouTube and Facebook are asking me to do videos on how to improve your driving and what have you. So I've done a few and here's, here's, a, here's the starting video if you like. This is the one you've got to address first. So we're going to look at what equipment, what you're actually driving with. So what driver are you using? I've got two drivers in my hand today, both from the same company. So we've got two Mizuno drivers, 630 fast track. MX700. MX700 is a bigger driver head. The uh, 635 track is a smaller head. 630 fast track is aimed at the better player. It's built to send the ball maybe a little bit lower off the face when a 700 is built for launch. Um, got a 95 stiff in the 630. So a very common uh, selling driver. 630 fast track, 95 stiff is a common loft. And I've got the MX700 in a 12 degree regular. So one's lower lofted than standard, one's higher lofted than standard, one's stiff, one's reg. Now I just want to explain to you what's happening out there. I'm getting a lot of people coming for lessons who are struggling with their driver and definitely it's technically uh, based. They're not always swinging the best way they could, but often their swing is reacting to the golf club they're using. So what's happening is it's, they're swinging the club in a way to try and get more out of their club because they're not maybe powerful enough for it or they haven't got the skill for it. So, Give you an idea what I mean. I've got Trap Man on today. It's going to spurt out a few results, which we'll talk about what they mean. So I'm just going to hit one with a 9.5 stiff in the 6.30 fast track. Um, and I'm going to swing it around 85 miles an hour, which is a standard kind of club golfer's driver club head speed. And I'm just going to hit a few shots just to show you what happens. So 85 miles an hour with a 9.5 stiff uh, better player's driver. It's a hit out of the middle. Vertical launch 7.9 degrees. Launch spin 2872 RPM. So what's happening there? That ball is launching at 7.9 uh, degrees. It's far too low for that speed of club. Um, it's just not getting up in the air. And then what's happening? It's only got 2,800 revs of spin on it. So it's not even climbing. It's just starting low and then falling out the air. So let me just do another one. So around 85 miles an hour, which is a common club head speed with a driver. Again, right out of the middle, of course it's falling out of the sky. Vertical launch 9.3 degrees, launch spin 21.99 RPM. So what's happening then is I'm getting a launch of 9.3, so slightly higher, but just okay. But for that club head speed, that's not going to be high enough to make any distance. And then a vertical spin, uh, sorry, a launch spin of 2,000 revs. It's just far too low. So the ball's starting medium to low and I'm just falling out of the air. Now if I want to hit the 9.5 stiff, of any kind of distance, what's going to happen is I'm going to need to stand up there and hit it at my normal club head speed, so around 105 miles an hour. So if I hit it with my normal club head speed, what's happening now is the 9.5 stick. Vertical launch 14.4 degrees. Launch spin 3713 RPM. It gets close, a 14 degree launch and a 3700 spin, so even slightly too high, so I'd maybe look at coming down lots. But that's because I picked my club head speed up. Now I'm confident I can swing at 105 miles an hour and still control my angles to hit a straight shot. What I'm seeing most guys do are out there who are um, hitting with drivers which are arguably too strong for them, they start pushing the ball far too far forward and then the most common thing they do is swing at the same club head speed but they chop across the ball to try and pop it up in the air so they back foot across, slice it up. Vertical launch 19.3 degrees. Launch spin, 45, 10 RPM. There you go. So to get the 9.5 stiff working with an 85 miles an hour club head speed, so with a regular club head speed for a club golfer, I had to chop it. I had to slice it across it. I had to lean back, add loft to it, get a 19 launch and a 4,000 revs spin, which got me a bit more carry for that club head speed. So I'm just going to hit a few shots then with the 12 regular. So this is a driver lots of people would steer clear of because it's... Uh, known as a, a weaker club maybe. I'm just going to hit one at around 85 miles an hour with the 12 reg. So that's getting up in the air and it's staying up in the air for so much longer. Vertical launch 11.4 degrees. Launch spin 3508 RPM. So for that club speed I've launched it at 11.4 and it's spun 3,500 revs. That's almost perfect. Um, statistics for that club head speed. So for me to get in the most distance, or swinging it around 85 miles an hour, I'm better off using the more lofted club with a regular shaft. And also what that does is it encourages me to actually make a swing where I hit the ball and drive through the ball. 
because I'm trying not to let them all get too high. I've actually got launch 7.7 degrees. Launch spin 35.44 RPM. So even that one, launched, it launched at 7.7 uh, .7 degrees. I got it slightly out of the bottom, so it launched lower. But it had 3,500 revs, so it still tried to stay up in the air. So the higher lofted club in the regular flex for, a, for an average club golf with the average club of speed is encouraging me to really step into the ball, actually drive through the ball, where the stronger, better players' clubs, unless you are hitting the ball with some aggression, some force, it's just encouraging me to sit back and try and chop the ball up in the air, otherwise it's just falling out of the air. Um, improve your driving. Obviously, you've got to look at your swing. I've got other videos talking about what you'll do with your swing to improve your driving, but think about the equipment you're using. Think about the loft. Think about the shaft flex. Uh, have you got a driver that just makes you work too hard? Would you be better off with an easier driver which allows you to actually have the confidence to drive through it? Now, I'm not saying everyone needs 12 degrees drivers, but uh, if you're getting too stiff and too low lofted, you might find that you are working much harder than you need to and just putting too much spin on it to try and get it launched up in the air. Let me know your thoughts. Post comments down below, guys, and uh, thanks for watching.